In the heart of the picturesque town of Dollville, where cobblestone streets wound like a labyrinth and houses were as colorful as a painter's palette, lived a boy named Oliver. He was a peculiar lad, with a mop of unruly chestnut curls that danced in the wind and eyes that sparkled with an insatiable curiosity. His laughter was a melody that echoed through the narrow alleys, a tune as familiar to the townsfolk as the chiming of the town hall clock. One day, while rummaging through the attic of his centuries-old house, Oliver discovered a yellowed newspaper tucked away in a forgotten corner. The headline read, Government's Grand Plan for Dollville. Intrigued, he began to read, his eyes widening as he stumbled upon a peculiar piece of information. It hinted at a conspiracy, a web of lies spun by the very people entrusted with the welfare of Dollville. This revelation shook Oliver to his core, and he decided to embark on a journey to uncover the truth. His first stop was the Dollville Library, a grand edifice that housed knowledge from every corner of the world. It was here that he met Mrs. Wordsworth, the town librarian. Mrs. Wordsworth was a woman of enigma, with a monocle that magnified her left eye and a mysterious smile that always seemed to know more than it revealed. Mrs. Wordsworth, Oliver began, his voice barely above a whisper. I need to find out about the government's plans for Dollville. The librarian peered at him over her monocle, her eyes twinkling with intrigue. The truth is often hidden in the past, Oliver, she replied, guiding him to a section of the library filled with history books. In the dimly lit corner of the library, Oliver found himself surrounded by towering shelves of books, each one a gateway to a different era. He spent hours poring over the pages, his mind swirling with dates, events, and names. But the more he read, the more questions he had. One day, as he was engrossed in a book about Dalville's history, he heard a soft chuckle. He looked up to find Mrs. Wordsworth watching him, her eyes twinkling behind her monocle. Finding the truth is like solving a puzzle, Oliver, she said, her voice echoing in the quiet library. You have to piece together the clues, one by one. But how do I know if I'm on the right track? Oliver asked, his brow furrowed in confusion. Mrs. Wordsworth smiled, her gaze softening. Trust your instincts, Oliver. They are often more reliable than you think. Emboldened by her words, Oliver continued his research with renewed vigor. He read, he questioned, he pondered, and slowly he began to see the pieces of the puzzle falling into place. His quest for truth led him next to Juggler Joe, a street performer known for his uncanny ability to predict the future. Joe was a man of few words, his stories told through the mesmerizing dance of his juggling balls. Joe, Oliver approached him one day, I need to see the future. Joe looked at him, his eyes reflecting the seriousness of Oliver's request. He nodded, and as he started juggling, the balls spun and twirled, creating a kaleidoscope of colors. Oliver watched, his heart pounding as images began to form, secret meetings, hidden documents, and masked figures. The images were fleeting, like wisps of smoke, but they were enough to confirm Oliver's suspicions. There was indeed a conspiracy at play, and it was bigger than he had imagined. But the visions also left him with more questions. Who were these masked figures? What were these secret meetings about? Determined to find answers, Oliver decided to confront Mayor Goodwin, the jovial and seemingly benevolent leader of Dollville. The mayor was a rotund man, always seen with a top hat and a cane, his laughter as hearty as his appetite. Mayor Goodwin, Oliver began, his voice steady despite his racing heart. I've discovered something unsettling about our government's plans for Dollville. The mayor's laughter died down, replaced by a look of surprise. And what might that be, young man? He asked, his eyes narrowing slightly. I believe there's a conspiracy, Oliver replied, meeting the mayor's gaze, and I intend to uncover it. The mayor stared at him for a moment before bursting into laughter. A conspiracy, you say? My dear boy, you've been reading too many mystery novels. But Oliver wasn't deterred. He knew he was onto something, and he wouldn't rest until he had uncovered the truth. 
As the days turned into weeks, Oliver's journey took him through a maze of secrets and lies. He faced challenges that tested his courage, met allies who aided him in his quest, and uncovered truths that shook his faith. But through it all, he remained steadfast, his resolve unshaken. His journey was far from over, but Oliver knew he was on the right path. He was no longer the naive boy who took things at face value. He was becoming a critical thinker, a seeker of truth, a young man ready to stand up for what's right. And so, Oliver's adventure continued, each day bringing him closer to the truth he sought. His story was a testament to the power of curiosity, the importance of questioning, and the courage to seek the truth, no matter the cost. As Oliver delved deeper into the mystery, he found himself crossing paths with an array of colorful characters. There was Miss Penelope, the town's eccentric baker, whose pies were as famous as her ability to listen without judgment. And then there was Old Man Jenkins, the grizzled lighthouse keeper, whose tales of the sea were as vast as the ocean itself. One day, while sharing his findings with Miss Penelope over a slice of her famous apple pie, Oliver found an unexpected ally. I've been suspecting something fishy for a while now, Oliver, she admitted, her eyes serious. The mayor's been too secretive, and some of his decisions don't add up. Encouraged by her support, Oliver shared his plan to sneak into the next town council meeting. Miss Penelope nodded, offering to create a distraction so Oliver could slip in unnoticed. The night of the meeting was a whirlwind of hushed whispers and cloaked figures. As Miss Penelope caused a ruckus with a rogue pie delivery, Oliver slipped into the town hall. Hidden behind a large curtain, he listened as the council members discussed their plans. The conversation was cryptic, filled with coded language and veiled references. But Oliver listened intently, piecing together the fragments of information. By the end of the meeting, he had a clearer picture of the conspiracy. The government was planning to sell Dollville to a wealthy tycoon, who intended to turn their quaint town into a sprawling resort. Armed with this knowledge, Oliver knew he had to act. He rallied the townsfolk, revealing the government's plans and urging them to stand up for their town. The people of Dollville, initially skeptical, were soon swayed by Oliver's passion and the evidence he presented. In the end, it was a battle of wills between the power-hungry government and the determined townsfolk. But Oliver, with his newfound courage and critical thinking skills, led the charge, proving that even the smallest voice could make a difference. And so, the tale of Oliver's journey from a curious boy to a brave leader unfolded. It was a story of courage, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of truth. And though his journey was far from over, one thing was certain. Oliver had forever changed the face of Dollville, proving that the power of truth was stronger than any conspiracy. The days that followed were a blur of activity. Dollville, once a quiet town, was now buzzing with whispers of rebellion and change. Oliver, once just a curious boy, was now the beacon of hope for the townsfolk. His courage and determination had ignited a spark in their hearts, a spark that was now a roaring flame. But the government was not going to back down easily. Mayor Goodwin, with his pride wounded and authority challenged, was determined to quash the rebellion. He tried to discredit Oliver, painting him as a troublemaker spreading false rumors. But the people of Dollville had seen the truth, and they were not going to be swayed by the mayor's words. In the midst of this turmoil, Oliver found solace in his friends. Miss Penelope, with her warm pies and comforting words, was a constant source of strength. Juggler Joe, with his cryptic predictions and silent support, was a guiding light. And Mrs. Wordsworth, with her vast knowledge and wise counsel, was his anchor. One evening, as Oliver sat with Mrs. Wordsworth in the library, she looked at him with a proud smile. You've done well, Oliver, she said. You've shown us all the importance of questioning, of not accepting things at face value. But the fight isn't over yet, Oliver replied, his gaze determined. We need to ensure that Dollville remains ours. And fight they did. The townsfolk of Dollville, led by Oliver, stood up against the government's plans. 
they rallied, they protested, they made their voices heard. And in the end, their determination paid off. The government was forced to abandon its plans, and Dollville was saved. Oliver's journey had started with a single question, a seed of doubt. But it had grown into a movement, a fight for truth and justice. He had learned the importance of critical thinking, of making his own decisions, and of standing up for what's right. And so, the tale of Oliver's transformation from a naive boy to a wise young leader unfolded. It was a story of courage, resilience, and the power of truth. And though his journey was filled with challenges and obstacles, Oliver had proven that even the smallest voice could make a difference. His story was a testament to the power of curiosity, the importance of questioning, and the courage to seek the truth, no matter the cost. And as the sun set over Dollville, casting a golden glow over the cobblestone streets, one thing was clear. Oliver's journey was just beginning. The end. Thank you so much for joining us for another captivating story. We are thrilled to present to you this original tale created by Kids Bedtime Stories HQ, and we hope you and your little ones thoroughly enjoyed it. If this enchanting bedtime story resonated with you, we kindly ask you to show your appreciation by giving this video a big thumbs up. Your likes have a tremendous impact on the growth of our channel, allowing us to continue crafting magical storytime experiences for families everywhere. If you haven't done so already, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with our latest stories and adventures, ensuring that you never miss out on the magic. Now we have an exciting offer just for you. How about a personalized bedtime story where you and your children become the heroes of your very own magical tale? Picture me taking you on a unique adventure crafted exclusively for you. Sounds exhilarating, doesn't it? To make this extraordinary experience a reality, simply click on the link provided in the description below. Once again, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for being a part of our storytelling community. At Kids Bedtime Stories HQ, we believe that dreams can truly come true. Wishing you sweet dreams, brave adventurers, until we embark on our next journey together.